Hey guys, and welcome back to Skyrim. We are back at Fort Dawnguard, and I think now that we've gotten this far in the Dawnguard questline, we do spawn right here. I didn't have to walk up here this time, which is great. So, between last episode and this episode, there have been a few changes. You might have just heard one, but first of all, show you the big change that you'll be seeing from now on. BAM! Got some Daedric gauntlets. Got my smithing up high enough to make some Daedric armor, so we have done that. I've put the, um, I've put destruction enchants on a lot of my stuff. So Daedric gauntlets, no, that's magicka, because you can't put the destruction thing on your hands or on your feet, so I didn't bother doing Daedric, um, boots either. Um, and the robes are too good to do the destruction chant on. So I did do it on a ring, so 20% less to cast for destruction spells. It's pretty good, and I have it on a necklace as well. So it should be like 40 to 50, because this is 15%. Yeah, it's a little bit over 50% less to cast for destruction spells with all my armor and chants. So that's pretty good. The second change is, oh, hey, who are you? Nice to meet you. Hi, bye. Lydia has got all ebony armor except for her boots. She's still using those steel ones because I enhanced those. But yeah, she's like a black knight. It's so cool. And Miko is still broken, so I went and bought Vigilance from the guy outside Markarth who sells the dogs. Not as good as Miko, but he's, he's still pretty good. So Vigi is going to be with us. And let's go talk to Isran and continue the Dawnguard quest, because I really want this horse. Hopefully we'll get a horse this time. Hey, Isran. I'm impressed you could find a moth priest so quickly. Um, you're welcome. D does he have the scrolls? Is everything ready? Is he reading it? Is he being a good little scholar? For the reading? Yeah. Just let the old man know when you're ready. Oh, he hasn't read it yet. All right, Moth Priest, read it what up. What can I do for you? I need you to read an Elder Scroll. Glad you made it here safely. Ah, my rescuer. It's good to see you again. Um, have my companions made you feel welcome in my absence? It's not exactly the hospitality I'm used to, but your man Isran has seen to my needs well enough. Oh. And might I add, this is a remarkable fortress. I have colleagues back home that would love to study this place in detail. You're a high maintenance priest. So, you ready to read some Elder Scroll? Oh, most certainly. Let's find out what secrets the scroll can tell. Now, if everyone will please be. Oops! No! Uh, oops. Oops. <laughs> Whoops! Hold on, hold on, we're reloading. Whoops. I accidentally pressed F instead of getting out of the way. My bad! My bad! <laughs> Alright, I will not make you watch that again. We'll just get to the part where he reads the stuff. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me. An image of a great bow. I know this weapon. It is Oriel's bow. Now a voice whispers, saying, Among the knight's children, a dread lord will rise. In an age of strife, when I strive, that's me. return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. I don't see how he got uh, prophecy, all of that out of what I'm looking must at. have the other two scrolls. I must rest now. The reading has made me weary. Come on, old man. You should get some rest. 
Yeah. So now what do we do? Speak to Serana. Come here, Serana. A moment to talk. Uh, yes, that's why I followed you. What's on your mind, old girl? That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Okay. Why didn't you say anything about these other two scrolls earlier? Half the people in your little crew would just as soon kill me as talk to me. True. That doesn't exactly make me want to open up. I got a warmer welcome from my father. And that's saying something. <laughs> um, what exactly is going on between you and your dad? Ever since he decided to make that prophecy his calling, we kind of drifted apart. I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just... a means to an end. So, where is this Elder Scroll we're gonna go look for? We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually has it herself. Cool. Um, so, I thought you said you didn't know where she was. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere safe. Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she wouldn't tell me anything. But the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Okay, it sounds like she was being cautious. Maybe. What I can't figure out is why she said it that way. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Maybe somewhere where he can't go. Hmm. Hiding with the Dawn Guard? They'd be even less welcoming to her than they've been to me. Mm -hmm. It would have been a bloodbath. And since the Dawn Point Guard taken. is still around, that must not have happened. Any other ideas? Um. Castle Vol. Volkihar? Volkahar? Wait. That almost makes sense. There's a courtyard in the castle. I used to help pretend a garden there. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my father couldn't stand the place. Too peaceful. Okay. Um, but isn't that pretty risky, still staying around the castle? Oh, absolutely. But my mother's not a coward. That is, I don't think we'll actually trip over her there, but it's worth a look. Okay. But, um, I'm kind of banished from there since I said I was going to kill your dad, so what do we do? True. But I know a way we can get to the courtyard without arousing suspicion. There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island that was used by the previous owners to bring supplies into the castle. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Alright, so let's go through the secret entrance then. Well, I don't take just anyone into the secret parts of the place I grew up. Get rid of this interloper and you and I can be on our way. Oh. Uh, really? Really? Lydia, why do you have to be such an interloper? Does she I've have anything that I need? I'm at your command. I think she has some armor just in case I need it. Oh, you don't have very much of anything at all. Give me this and this just in case. Uh, actually, I don't need that woodcutter's axe. I'm not gonna chop any wood while I'm gone. You can have that back. Alright. Let's get going then. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. Well, I don't take just any. Get rid of this. I'll wait for you at the. Oh door. wait, I didn't actually let Lydia go. Derp. I've got your back. Um. Time for us to part ways. I can just spawn this armor back with her and get the bone weapon again, if she gets rid of it. I'll head back home if you need me. Should have made her my steward before I left. I made her leave. That's okay. Well, where did Serana go? I know she's not out here in the daylight. I'm here. Where did she go? Is she over here? Crap. Oh, I don't think I'm tracking it. Yeah, she got rid of her stuff. That's okay. I'll just spawn all that stuff back in. <sighs> Maybe I'll actually get her some proper ebony boots so she can wear those. That's fine. 
I guess she's in the castle because I don't I don't know where she is. getting bigger. How are you out walking in the day? Oh, hey. Whoops, wrong button. Stand still. No, you didn't. Oh, there are two of them? No wonder. Get him, Vigi. Okay, you're dead. And you're dead. And you're dead. <laughs> I don't think I hit her. Uh, it's so hard to aim at them when they're crouched or when they're kneeling. Where'd you disintegrate off to? Right here. I'll take this. Uh, I've got enough cold potions that does 20% frost resistance, so that's fine. All right, Serana. Well, I guess you have a hood. I don't think that protects you very much from sunlight since you're a frickin' vampire. I'm ready if you are. Let's go. It's around the side of the castle. Let's move. All right. I think I have been there before. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that doesn't count as a fast travel location. You also notice a lot of these um, stones. I'm not sure if this is an add-on I got. Probably. But I, I got one of those add-ons out of the workshop to make map markers for the stones that you need for that girl in Riften in the Thieves Guild uh, to turn all of them in. I got 10 out of 24, so just so I didn't have to look it up. I made them all on the map. So as we get close, apparently there's one in the Companions place. So we'll get to that eventually. So, you know, I'll do that as I go. Because that's one, definitely one of the side quests I want to get done. Let's travel here. And let's make it daytime. Serana's just going to have to learn to live in the daytime. If she's going to be my companion. Force me to have her around without Lydia. Whatever. I think I've been around here before, but I cut it out because all it was was me going around gathering grass pods and killing skeletons, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Yeah, it's definitely been here before. But yeah, that wasn't very interesting, so I just cut it out of the videos. But you'll get to see it now, because we got to go back here. not bright enough, so let's mage light. I think they're all up there. These are pretty powerful skeletons, too. Probably don't have, yeah, they don't have loot. Another reason why I cut it out, it was just uh, for it. One of them's a mage. I think it's that one right there. Yep. He is a mage. Killing you first. Ugh. 
I keep moving so the archers don't hit me. Is the one behind me on me? Nope. Alright, you're dead. You didn't kill my dog, did you? I will hurt you if you killed my dog. Nope. Still around. Let's well, healing though. I need I really need to get the heal other spell because this does not do very much healing to him. And I'm out of magic. Miss. You miss me. Okay, that time you hit me. Alright, you're dead. I need to heal. I'm out of magicka again. Serana, get over here. What are you doing? There we go. Dead, dead, dead. I think I'm still using Lightning Bolt um, because Thunder Shock or whatever the more advanced one, even though I have Expert Destruction now, it still takes way more of my mana that I'm willing to use. I think. Let's check. Destruction. Thunderbolt. Yeah, it costs 50. And Lightning Bolt costs 7. So, yeah. I think so. Also, I have leveled up a bit. I'm level 42 now. I think I was, what, level 39? Something like that last time? So I have expert destruction now. And I already told you that I got the smithing stuff done. I also got some enchanting thingies. Yeah, smithing all the way up to Daedric. We just need to get seven more points. And we can make dragon armor that we're not going to use. So yeah, I finally got Corpus Enchanter, which makes um, enchantments on armor 25% stronger. So that's great. I just need a little bit more to get that extra effect so that I can put extra magicka and stuff on my magicka and magicka region. That would be great to have both of those. Or maybe like restoration boost or something like that. Anyways, let's stop talking about that boring stuff. I looted that guy. Mm, take your bone meal. Mm, nope. That's it. Right? That's it. So, let's go inside. Hopefully Serana will get unstuck from there. Because she has been there since we killed the first skeleton. Now we're in the Undercroft. I'm so sorry, Vigilance. You're all bloody. Excuse me. Excuse me. I don't know where he came from. He's dead now, so it doesn't matter. Is there another one? Oh, there's one behind the door, probably. Ooh, we'll take that salt. Empty. Which way do I go? There's a lot of stuff in there. There's a pack of hounds. Here they all come. Hit Vigi. Oh, almost did. Get off my dog. Is that 
ours? Is that our dog? I guess. I guess it is. I don't think I need those death hand collars at all. I don't think I do. Alright, vampire, what you got? Don't need that. Don't need that. Journal fragment, let's read that. Um fine. Journal fragment. Not good enough to live in their stupid keep, am I? Stupid sods don't realize I've moved into the undercroft and started taking control of their own death hounds. I'll get my revenge. Nope. No, you won't. Oh, here's a chest. It's booby trapped. Let's unlock that booby trap. Nice. What would have done? Made that trap open? I guess. I don't see what it what else it would have done. Oh. What's up? Can I take these things? No? Oh, they're skulls. I thought they were like eggs. They're not. Coffins. Oh, you can search the coffins. Oh, coin purse. What? Why can I not get it? It's right there. Why are you so dumb? Stupid game. Mm, there's a barrel over there I don't really care about. Let's go up here, I guess. Hey, alchemy station. Leather strips. Vampire gauntlets. Salt, yes. I guess that's it. I don't need that poison, I'll take that salt though. I guess that's where he came from. That's where he's he sleeps. I have those books. Take the mushrooms. Can we get this coin purse at least? What does this do? Opens that door, so good. Good that we went up here first. Anything in the water? Nope. Nope. Oh, hey. You Who's missed there? me. Oh, you dead. Vigilance, no. Dogs have a thing about jumping off things into the wrong spot. Yes, it is. Uh-oh. My dog. He's in battle. With a skeever. <laughs> oh, hey! Oh, whoops, that's our skeleton. She raised it? Alrighty, then. Hey! Too bad. Serana can raise the next skeleton. Stupid. Stupid Draugr. Is that a spider? Why are you guys so dumb? I got through there, no problem. That's definitely a spider. Gold. That's why you always look. Seven gold. That's why. Crap. Pile of bones? Where was that trap? What did I step on? I don't know. Um. 
Oh, is there blood dripping from up there? Gross. I mean, cool. <laughs> Same thing. Sorry about the jerky camera-ness. Whoa, I didn't take all that stuff. Where did it go? Whatever, I guess. Whoa, what game? What are you doing? Jumping around everywhere. Ha ha! Worth it. Oh my god, I thought I had it. There we go. Don't care about that, but I'll take those other ones. Yep, giant spider. kind of scary. Would you not be scared if a spider left at you after it died? Oh cool, that left down the other side. What's through this way? Oh, the upstairs. I guess I should have looked up there more, but that's okay. I'm not gonna go all the way around again. Um, this, this way? Uh, do we go back this way? Yes. Yes, we do. What? So we're on a keep up. What? She was done saying whatever she was gonna say. I think she said this leads up to the courtyard. We're just gonna assume that's what she said. Because I think it does. Okay, I sent some sort of battle coming on. What happened to this place? Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks. well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. You keep talking, I'll gather all this the used to gross in moss. The great hall. <sighs> Looks like my father oh my had sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. What the heck is that? Half moon crest. Okay. This is my Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Um, Wait. don't worry, I'm gonna make it even more barren. Full moon cra that they've got to that's got to do something. Oh my god, all the hanging moss. Oh really? Alright, well I got Yeah, there's some more that I need to get. Let's go pick more hanging moss and look for the other crests. This is where we came in, right? Moss. Crescent moon crest. Mushrooms. Oh, leads to the other towers. Cool, cool beans. Uh, I guess let's go up here. We haven't been up here yet. Anybody see any crests? 
No. Did I get them all? Fine, I guess we won't get that one piece of... Oh, probably can't even get it. Anyways, let's investigate this. Okay, how? How do, how do I investigate? I don't have that one. I don't have that one. So we have to go into the other towers. Oh, was that enough? Very clever, mother. Very clever. I've never been in those tunnels before, but I bet they run right out of the courtyard and into the tower ruins. Well, at least we're getting close. Let's go. Okay. Well, that's good. Nothing about there, but a bunch of rocks. Let's go into the ruins. Five it up. Money. Oh, somebody's been having some snacks. I've never even seen this part of the castle before. Be careful. I don't know what might be around. Okay. I'm hoping money. Lots of money. Or lots of salt. That's also good. Or was it troll fat or both? I don't know. Uh, okay. Took that, right? Alright, let's go up the stairs. Oh, hey! It's a skeleton party! Go through that door. Excuse me. Move. Move. Move your pretty ass out of the way. Who's there? See, you woke them all up. You're a two handed guy, you die first. Don't attack that guy. Teach you. Sure, sure, yes. Who else? Who else is dead? You? Yes. And you? Nope. You? Nope. There's probably a lot more skeleton pieces that I'm not gonna find, but whatever. Ruined books, don't care. Nothing over here, really. Nope. Alright, let's go up this side. Because it's a dead end, so that's good. Let's go the only way we can go. Why would vampires have saber tooth heads mounted on the wall? Okay. Oh my good lord. Serana? Serana? it. There is a thing up there. Go get it. Also, where is my dog? I think my dog died. I'm gonna go find him really quick. Okay, never mind. I found Vigilance. He's in where you go into the courtyard from the Undercroft. And apparently, like, sp you're, 
I don't know. He's stuck there. And her skeleton got stuck there, so there's definitely something going on. We'll just get him later. At least he's not dead. Let's go back in here. Now that the gargoyle is gone. I don't know why I said it like that. Do we, do we want to go this way? Is this the only way we can go? That's where the gargoyle was. Yep. It's the only way we can go. And there's no loot over there. Sometimes at dead ends there's loot, so it's always good to check. Nothing going on in here. Your skeleton. Where'd you come from? Oh, you dead. And you dead. Soul gem. Oh yeah, maybe I should start using my bow. I don't know. You guys let me know if you want to see more of the conjured bow. Uh, I guess I could... I don't know. I do need to mix up my spells instead of just lightning bolt everything to death, but... So easy. It's so little mana. Magicka. That thing. Alright, what's in here? Soul gem? Coin purse? Other gems? Haunted pot? Some gold? Not much in the way of treasure, really. Spider eggs? Alright, I think we're done here. Looks like it. Let's go, Serana. Yep. Why does that keep happening? Who's there? A skeleton. Calm down. Oh, and a gargoyle. Where'd you come? Why are you running? Hitting him. Yes, increase to 80. Give me all that. Is there anything that I can get at 80? I don't know. I guess there's nothing for 80 in the spell tree. Doesn't look like it. You can take that augmented flames talent out and put it somewhere else. Ooh, gold. Damn it, I knew that was gonna happen. Who's there? It's a skeleton. It's always a skeleton. Except for when it's a gargoyle. She's putting salt trap on these guys. Made like kind of alteration. Who's there? Ha! <laughs> 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 Thought I would try. Oh, it's the skeleton. Nope, don't even fall down there. There we go. And it's a chest. Taking all that. I also have a smithing mod that lets you make ingots out of arrows. So I'm gonna start taking arrows again. 
Anything leather? I'll take that. Anything else that is good? No. Taking it. Oh, somebody here? Where? Where? Behind the door? <laughs> Come here! Why are you running? He's, he's not even paying attention to Serana. He doesn't even know she's there. After all the souls. I think I just killed my flame atronach. Oh hey buddy. Serana. I can't snipe this skeleton over here. Who's there? I knew I heard something. Not good at archery. I'm not gonna die like this. Come on, almost dead. All that other skeleton finally made it over there. Oh, you dead. Soul captured. So the good and bad about the bound bow is that it looks cooler, but I'm bad at it, so it's going to take longer to kill things. I've gone one way for a really long time, so I'm not sure what was back there that I missed. This is obviously the way you're supposed to go. Um, yep. Take your bone meal. Any chests? Any goodies? Just lots of conjured arrows everywhere. Oh, hey. Alright. Excuse me? S excuse me? Knew that was gonna happen. Never mind. Your skeleton? No, that's your skeleton. I don't know. So what did that what did this open? That door over there? The This door? Did we go this way? What is this? The butts? What's happening? What's going on? What did that do? Oh. Well, that was dumb. That's obviously what this thing did. There we go. That was pretty dumb. We're just gonna back up. Oh, that was a skeleton.
Alright, now where is the- oh, pff, oh, there it is. Oh, already found- already found the sweet spot. Is it directly up? Nope. Just a little bit to- nope. Damn it. There we go. What's in here? Things and stuff and stuff and things. Oh dang. Cool. Who's there? there are lots of weapons in here. Can I shoot whatever this is Who's through? There? Come on. Okay, mistake increase, that's cool. Is he over here? What are you guys doing? Okay, I don't think there's anything else in this room. I don't know if we can go in here though. Yeah, we can. Where's the bad guy? Oh, sneak attack, you dead. I think they're down there. No, oh, one's right there. Where's the other ones? Oh, whoops, that was hers. Lol. Alright, you guys just take care of him. going in here until we got everybody. Still fighting this one skeleton. What is going on? Are we done now? I get down there over here. Yes. Mm, Thirteen gold. Mm -hmm. Oh, and a chest. Take that gold. We'll leave that stamina potion because who needs that? Not me. soul gems go. I didn't get very many. Whoa. Oh, this is where we came in? Yeah. This is where we came in. Yeah. Then we came up here. Alright. Let's go this way now. Hopefully. We'll get somewhere. Take all that. Get a health potion. I think it was a cure disease potion. Never mind.
can search these. Guess not. Nothing here. Let's go through the door then. Oh, look at all these gargoyles that are going to come out at us. I think we're going to have to one for this. Because this is too many. This is too many gargoyles. Because he's hitting me. Yeah, fight each other. Alright, and you're down. Oh, let them kill each other, that's fine. They're on me. My friends are on me. Ow. Crap. The Holy crap, what's going on? Alright, well one of these things can be fixed. Serana, Serana, what is wrong with you? Serana. Hey, snap out of it. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Am I going to have to kill her? Playmaster, I can't do one shit. God dang it. Drain all my magicka. Are you going to be cool now? Are you going to be cool? Yeah? Yeah? We're getting close. I'm sure of it. Turns out my mother was sneaky at it. 
Alright, we'll just go leave her skeleton alone for right now. Let's go back to where we were. That was a pain in the butt. Did the gargoyles like turn her against me or something? Or did it I accidentally hit her and that just broke the game for a second? That was dumb. Man, these gargoyles have such good loot. Ore and gems. Oh, royal armor. Guess I won't take that silver sword, because it bugged out. Is that all of them? Guess so. Do we still have a problem? from here. We went into this room. So where do we go now? Alright, I'm back to this room. Now what? What? Aha! There we go. When in doubt, use clairvoyance. deep in the necromancy. I mean, she taught me everything I know. But I have no idea she had a setup like this. Look at all this. She must have spent years collecting these components. I'm gonna thing? take it. I'm not sure about this circle. Obviously, something. Uh, maybe Let's we have to light all the around. candles? There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. Okay, what are we looking for? My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints in there. Um... Are you always a vampire? That's... a long story. You got time. I want to hear it. I guess... we kind of have to go way back. To the very beginning. Do you know where vampirism came from? I do not. The first vampire came from Molag Ball. She... was not a willing subject. But she was still the first. Molag Ball is a powerful Daedric Lord, and his will is made reality. For those willing to subjugate themselves, he will still bestow the gift. But they must be powerful in their own right before earning his trust. Okay, so then how did you become a vampire? The ceremony was... degrading. Let's not revisit that. <laughs> all but right. we all took part in it. Not really wholesome family activity, but... I guess it's something you do when you give yourselves to a Daedric Lord. Um... How has it affected your family? Well, you've met most of us. My father's not exactly the most stable. And eventually he drove my mother crazy with him. And it all ended with me being locked underground for who knows how long. It's definitely been a bad thing, on the whole. What about curing yourself? A cure? Why even think of it that way? I can't think of any reason I'd want to lose this gift. 
Especially after what I did to get it. It may have driven my family apart, but I'm still here. And I'm alive. I won't give this up. Cool. So I still don't know what we're looking for. Past the balcony, we don't want to go out. Let's loot some stuff. See if there's any clues over here with all of these alchemy ingredients. Mm, not so far. Let's keep looking. Looks like I already have that one. Nope, nothing over here with all these alchemy ingredients. Red kitchen reader. I don't, I guess I have it. It doesn't say I don't have it. Chest, what do you got? Gold, I'll take it. Oh man, your mother's loaded. Hit the jackpot as far as alchemy ingredients go. They're just laying everywhere. Don't need any of that. Oh, and there's more. stuff, I will still take it. Alright, have we cleared all of this out? Let's go over here. What are you looking at? Oh, all these books I haven't read? Let me get them. Taking that. Taking this. Taking this. I guess I've read that one, so I don't care. Oh, Valerica's Journal. Okay, we'll get that one last. We'll see Argonian Maid, version volume 2. Yes, take this. Read all of these. Keep searching for her note. Read that one. Alright, let's get her journal now. Harkins, Harkons, Harkins? Harkins short sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to do so much as listen to a word I say. I've become less of a wife and more of an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace that I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly by... Attune? Did I say attune? Whatever. Soul cairn properly by using a small sample of ingredients. Although the portal opened for only a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient. Something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I, I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkin's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I am combining my own blood into the formula which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the soul cairn. The formula consists of bone meal, purified void salts which I just looted, soul gem shards which I just looted. Using the proper measurements, place 
the above in the silver line portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I'll make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a, a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. Whoa! Okay, let's take that. Any luck yet? Um, yes. I found your mother's notes. You did? Let me see them. <laughs> okay, what is a soul cairn? I only know what she told me. She had a theory about soul gems. That the souls inside of them don't just vanish when they're used. They end up in the soul cairn. Oh, okay, why did she care where the souls went? The soul cairn is home to very powerful beings. Necromancers send them souls and receive powers of their own in return. My mother spent a lot of time trying to contact them directly, to travel to the soul cairn itself. Okay, and if she made it there, I guess we'll find her there. That circle in the center of the room is definitely some type of portal. If I'm reading this right, there's a formula here that should give us safe passage into the soul cairn. What do we need? Let me guess. Bone meal, purify voice salts and soul gem shards. A handful of soul gem shards, some finely ground bone meal, a good bit of purified void salts. And some blood. Oh, damn it. What? You need your mother's blood? We're also going to need a sample of her <laughs> blood, which if we could get that, we wouldn't even be trying to do this in the first place. But you have some of her blood. Hmm, not bad. We'd better hope that's good enough. Mistakes with these kind of portals can be... gruesome. Anyway, enough of that. Let's get started. Um, do we have all the ingredients? Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. You just need to find them. How did I miss this? Ah, there it is. That's how I missed it. So let's put this in the vessel up here. Let's speak to you, Serana. Then the rest is up to me. Are you ready to go? I'm not entirely sure what this thing is going to do when I add my blood. We will do that. All right, here we go. Next time, because I'm going to take a little bit of a break. See you guys either next time or in just a second.